Hey, it's Eric from Lakeshore. You know what's even better than eating this cupcake I just made? It's using the muffin tin that I bake these in for fun learning activities. Believe it or not, these metal trays are actually really great for creating fun learning activities for your preschoolers and kids in early elementary school. Interested? All right, well, let's get started. I, I didn't actually bake this. All right, I'm gonna share with you my top five favorite muffin tin learning activities. These activities will teach your kids math, language, and even science skills. So let's get to it. Number one, color matching. Use your muffin tin to create a fun color matching activity for your kiddos. All you need is some colored paper and different colored objects to match with. Start with cutting out colored circles and placing them in your muffin tin. Next, gather up different colored items for your child to match with. Things like this red ball, perhaps this blue building block, maybe this fragrant white rose, or maybe this delicious crunchy cheesy poof. Number two, create a numbers and counting activity. Use cupcake liners to create a fun counting activity. Just write the numbers one through 12 on cupcake liners and pop them into your muffin tin. You can use marbles for your kid's favorite crunchy cereal or snack and have them count out the quantity that matches the number written on the cupcake liner. They would count out one, one, two, one, two, three, and so on. And when they're finished, if they're using their favorite crunchy cereal, for example, they can eat their snack at the end. A fun challenge you can pose to your child is to count the total number of snacks in the muffin tin. Number three, letter sounds. This activity is pretty similar to the numbers and counting activity, but instead of writing numbers on the cupcake liners, you're gonna write letters. And the goal of the activity is to have your child find objects that start with that letter sound. For example, leaf for the letter L, ul, pasta, starts with the sound. Ball starts with the b sound. Now you can pre-select the items ahead of time for your child and put them in a basket, or you can make the activity a little more challenging and turn the activity into a letter sound treasure hunt and have your child find objects from around the house. Number four, create a magnetism exploration station. Here's a fun way to introduce magnetism to your kiddos. Fill each space in the muffin tin with different objects, some that will be attracted to a magnet and others that will not. For example, got a paperclip, quarter, and an aluminum foil ball, and you're gonna need a magnet to test your items against. And you can introduce to your kids items that are attracted to the magnet are called magnetic, and then items like this quarter and the aluminum foil ball are non-magnetic. So place all these items inside your muffin tin. And an interesting fact you can introduce to your child is that objects that are magnetic usually contain metals called iron or nickel. You can ask your child to predict, which is really, you can tell them it's just a fancy word for guess. You can ask them to predict which items they think will be attracted to the magnet. Then they can test each item to see if their predictions were correct or not. So they're gonna find that this pink pom-pom is non-magnetic, whereas this binder clip is. Here's a tricky one. This pipe cleaner right here, although it looks furry and non-metallic on the outside, it really is magnetic because of the wire uh, that's inside of the pipe cleaner. That's a tricky one, but pretty fun. After the activity is over, you can ask questions such as, why do you think these items are non-magnetic? Were there any items you found to be magnetic or non-magnetic that surprised you? And then lastly, remind your child that the non-magnetic items aren't made of metals like iron and nickel. Last but not least, number five, memory match. This is one of my favorite activities using muffin tins and it's creating a fun memory matching game using little figurines and cupcake liners. So what I have here are some uh, size and color bugs from Lakeshore. 
and you fill your muffin tin with matching pairs. So I have some ladybugs, uh, butterflies, and spiders in different colors. And once the muffin tin is filled up, then cover up each item with cupcake liners that are upside down. Once the objects are covered, the game begins. You can play this as a one player challenge, but I think it's most fun when you play it with two players. The player one goes first, unhide two objects to see if they have a matching pair. I've got a green spider here and a smaller blue spider here, which is not a match. So I'm gonna put the, the cupcake liners back and um, player two will go next. Maybe they'll reveal this. Ooh, blue spider. And I believe there should be another blue spider here, which is a match. And you keep playing the game until all the matches are found and the player who finds the most matches wins. So there you have it. Get those muffin tins out and have fun with learning. And afterwards, maybe you can bake some cupcakes too with your kids or just buy a couple from the store like me. We'd love to see the kinds of materials your kids are using for these muffin tin activities. Post a photo or a video to social media with the hashtag LearnWithLakeShore. I hope you enjoyed this learning at home video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning Channel to see more. Until next time, keep on learning. Keep watching our learning at home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.